In this video, I am going to show you how to make your first Android app project using the Xamarin tools installed in Visual Studio 2015. So this video assumes that you have first installed Visual Studio 2015, have the Xamarin tools installed, and are all set up with your environment ready to get started with your first project. And so once you have the uh, tools and everything installed, we just start a new project in Visual Studio and we're building for Android. So under Visual C Sharp we'll find the Android section and you'll see there are several different templates already installed. We're just going to do a blank app and you can give it a name. This is just going to be like a basic hello world to get us familiar with all of the different windows and, and layout of the Android template. So I'm just going to call this hello world Android and uh, go ahead and start. Click OK and Visual Studio will get the project set up. So when you first set up a Xamarin project, if you get this uh, getting started with Xamarin window, that's cool. You can check out some of the links. They have pre-built app templates and things you can use. Uh, but if you don't want it, you can just click the X up in the corner. And uh, what we're going to be looking at is over in our Solution Explorer. Now the confusing part for students when they're first getting started with Xamarin projects is where is my form? <laughs> and so uh, to find the main uh, AXML file, which is, is what we use in these uh, types of projects, those are um, basically they're, they're XAML XML files from Xamarin. We go into the resources folder and then we go into the layout folder. And so our main AXML, if we give that a double click, will load up our uh, visual layout file. Now, depending on your system and the amount of RAM, this can take a little while. So uh, once it loads, if it's all weird and cut off, it's probably because um, either the device or the theme isn't uh, loaded correctly. You can also use these tools over here to help you uh, you know, I can zoom in and you can zoom out. Uh, so you can change the device uh, to try to get this to fit better on your screen. I have a Nexus 5 and that's what I test on so I build all my templates in that. But I also have a Nexus 7 so if I wanted to go for that wider layout I could adjust it and see what it looks like on, on that. And then if you are targeting a lower version of Android you can see that this is a 6.0 right uh, API version 23 uh, project if you were targeting a lower version you could choose that up here and then you can change a theme um, by default it has the dark theme you can come into more themes and, and choose a different theme if you feel like that's what you want to do so as you can see it just kinda goes ahead and gives us uh, a little bit of a hello world here in the first uh, in the first project so this would be a good time to check out your emulator and see if you can actually run the project in an emulator and then if you have a device uh, make sure that you have the developer settings turned on for your device so that you can connect that via a USB cable and then run your applications on the device and you'll see in several of my videos that I'll show you uh, both but up here on the toolbar you can see we have a couple of different things. There is AVD which is our Android Emulation Manager. There's also the SDK Manager. So if you find that you're missing packages or particular APIs or anything that you might need for your Android development you can get them from the SDK Manager. And then there's also the command prompt. If you ever need to do any command line execution of your, on your project you can do that there. And then uh, device logging, which is good if you're trying to troubleshoot a particular issue and you want to you know, see what's going on on that device. So right now, if I open up my Android uh, Emulation Manager, right, AVD, I have already created a, a test phone. So you can just come over here and create and set up uh, a test device. You are going to target it to a particular platform and API. I went for 442 because the majority of devices, um, they're, that's about where they're at, is API 19. I know that's kind of sad, 
but since devices are typically locked in uh, by carrier and they can't update on their own, unless they are an unlocked phone or a Nexus user, they're going to probably be somewhere down here and not up on Android 6.0. So once you have a, a test device set up, and you can set up more than one device, uh, then you'll see it up here in the Run menu. So here you can see it's, it's set up for my test phone. And if I click that, it's going to build my project and then load up my emulated device and prepare that for execution. Now, again, depending on how much RAM you have and what your system environment is like, this can take a little while, uh, but this is basically what the process looks like. Now, my system, uh, I'm, I'm running on a SSD drive, and I've got 32 gigs of RAM. And so things are probably going to happen for me a little swifter than they're going to happen for you, uh, unless you're running something comparable, and that's fine. It will get there eventually. So you can see the test phone environment is loaded. You get all these buttons and everything so that you can simulate what that's like uh, working inside of your app. And right now it's just going through and validating the project and loading it into that test environment. So feel free to play around with the emulator, make a couple of images so that you have something to test with, and honestly, I always think it's easier to just test directly on my device. And so that is, is kind of the purpose uh, why I do that. So when you're playing with this little Hello World app, and I have this zoomed all in so you can see, as you click on that button, it just changes the name of the button that or the display text of the button to a counter of how many ever clicks that you have performed on it. So... The second thing, you know, aside from finding where is my form, where does my code go? Well, it goes in this main activity. So we see mainactivity.cs. And so if we come in and take a look at this file, we can see that this is a C sharp file. And in here on the on create, which is kind of like a, a constructor for these uh, forms that we have in our Android devices, you'll see here where we grab that button using find view by ID and then just changing the button text using a string format and counter so that the uh, text will change with the number of, of counts that happen in that button. So you can play around with this Hello World Android application. Come check out the toolbox so you can pop that out or if you don't have it you can come up to view and find your toolbox and maybe add in some text or try adding another button and get just get familiar with the navigation of this Android project inside of Visual Studio so that you are comfortable moving on to the next lesson where we will dig in a little deeper and make something a little more useful uh, as an Android app using our Xamarin tools.